there everybody, Stacy Burke here, and it's a Monday. What does that mean? Hmm, yep, I went to the grocery store after work. I figured I might as well just do this every Monday, because I've been getting good feedback, and i got to put the, away the groceries anyway, so it's it makes perfect for a haul. So as soon as I get home, I turn on the, the computer, and I'll show you. Hopefully nothing's melted, because there's a few frozen items. Um, today, I didn't spend that much. I, I didn't really need that much, but I did spend $98. Uh, next week, I have a feeling I'm going to need to buy more stuff because the cat is probably going to need some more kibble. I'm going to have to get some more dry food for the kitty cats because uh, I fill up. I have big Tupperware bins that I fill up, and so I just, when it gets those, same with the bird food. So... Sometimes I buy a lot, and sometimes I buy, don't buy that much. Today was only $98. It would have been more if I could have find, found some um, that alcoholic uh, eggnog, because it's the time of year. I love that eggnog that already has all the, the, the alcohol in it, so it's, I like putting that over ice before going to bed. It's so awesome. I'm wearing my Kim and the Creative t-shirt. This is her going crazy in her little unitard. She's like a, a punk rock uh, chick. Kind of like a Deborah Harry meets Iggy Pop. She's kind of cool. Kind of like her. And I'm loving October. And if you love October too, you're having a special one this year because there's five weekends in this. You're probably wondering, why is this month going? Why does it seem like it's forever in this month? Because there's five weekends. Five beautiful weekends in October. So it's awesome. It's October 26th right now that I'm doing this. So let's get going on this before anything melts, and I'll show you what I bought. Sippy, sippy. My graveyard girl. Okay, these are on sale. You know I love my crackers. This is Townhouse Pita in the sea salt. They had them in um, Mediterranean flavor, but I don't like that. I'm not very much an salt person, but it's kind of hard not to eat salt because everything has salt in it because they get really salt retentive but this has sea salt <laughs> so I just like normal flavor this is the pita so we have that oh I might as well get this bag first now we're out Roy go we used to go through gummy bears uh, a pound of gummy bears um, at least God was it a week yeah but now we go through red vines Roy's new favorite go-to is red vine so I think this was like eight bucks or something like that so I'll put that over here in the candy area and as you know I always vacuum with this stuff this is the best stuff especially when you live at the beach and you get like moisture in the carpeting this kind of dries up and sucks all the moisture out and it makes it smell so fresh and wonderful I love this stuff so I'll put that over there and I got some more tahini. This goes good on everything. On everything. I love it on pizza. I love it in my avocado dip. I love it on cottage cheese. Tahini. This is basically uh, lime and cayenne pepper. But it's, it's just so yummy. It's so yummy. It makes everything good. Put it with my spices over there. And I love pineapple. Whenever we order pizza, I put this on there. Sometimes I make mimosas, and I put a little pineapple juice in it. Pineapple juice in champagne is really good. I like it a lot. And it's not so acidity as orange juice, and also it's good for the digestive system. Papaya enzymes is really good for the digestive system. I know this because I have bad digestive systems. And that's why I do probiotics all the time. I love my probiotics gummies. And I can't find any candles, but then Rouse, it's, it's like I have to go special for like the candles. I still have the candles from last year. But when I want like a pumpkin spray, I got some Glade pumpkin pit stop. So, so I got some of that. So the house smells like pumpkin-y. Lint rollers. If you have animals, you need lint roller all the time. I always lint roll my... Um, my pillow because uh, my Frankie, my cat, loves to sleep next to me on the pillow. So I have to lip roll my pillow. 
and these little cheap things are only a dollar but this is what I keep in the back um, closet my bedroom that I turn into a closet I, I just keep that there because I also have a cat litter box back there which doesn't smell at all because that scoopable Glade scoopable tidy cat is so awesome the only thing it just gets in their paws so you got little paw prints everywhere that I got to clean but these are just those little air fresheners it works really well in a closet area okay one bag gone that bag is gone yay I needed new sponges so bought some sponges I buy these for the dishes and this for the counters and I have a mark like so Roy doesn't come and grab the wrong sponge because I don't like using my dish sponge on the counters and vice versa I gotta keep them separate you know it's just, I don't do you do that do you have separate sponges like one for the dishes one for the counter and then when they get old here I transfer them to like the bathroom sponges or to just all utility type sponges. So, yeah. More toothpaste. I just got some cheap little um, Ultra Bright because um, I, I don't know about you, but I brush my teeth for a long time. Like it takes me like 10 minutes. Like I brush my teeth. I think I overly brush my teeth. Um, although I do have to get a teeth cleaning because the dentist says. Uh, I just don't floss good enough. I don't think anyone really does. <laughs> but it's like I, I'm due for a teeth cleaning because they're really bad. Which is weird to me because I floss all the time. And I brush myself, I brush my teeth like 10 minutes. But I think I'm doing a disservice because I think I'm like, you know, probably injuring the gums and all that. Okay, waste paper, trash bags. I use these. I have this little tiny waste paper, uh, waste basket that I use to scoop the kitty litter in every day. And er like every morning, I scoop all the kitty litters and I pick up Clyde's poop and everything. And then I put it in a little waste paper bag and then I plop it in the big trash bag area. Oh, and this was on sale. Wing sauce. Since I buy. Roy fried chicken almost every week whenever I'm craving hot wings or anything I heard you can make cauliflower too there's my bone like you could bake cauliflower and pour this on it wing sauce Tony Roma's too it's on sale for for two bucks so I bought it so I bought it and then Frankie's wet food because he's sensitive teeth they don't have the special diet canned cat food anymore I just had to buy this for boy cats, I always buy special diet cat food, whether it's wet or dry. Phone's going crazy. Because um, I've had in the past boy cats die. For some reason, like um, I found this out from the vet a long time ago, that boy cats die because they're neutered. Something about they need a pH balance food that has a lot of um, ash in it. I don't know. He told me what to get, and so I used to always buy frisky special diet canned cat food. Luckily, they still make it the special care cat food um, for the dry. And I usually buy a big bag for $12. Next week, I'll probably have to get that. But if you have boy cats, try to find like the special diet or uh, special urinary tract uh, care food because it's worth it. Because they're really susceptible to getting little stones and they're it's, it's kind of a, a, a I don't know I'm not a doctor so I don't want to give you bad intel but just try to get some good food if you have a boy cat so wet can cat food or Frankie all different flavors and then I have little dog food I know it's probably not the best dog food but this sometimes I mix this in Clyde's kibble when he's being finicky and if he wants like a little special treat, there's beef lasagna, there's beef stroganoff, and uh, chicken and cheese. And I have all different, I have good, like good, like good vet type foods. And then I buy a little Caesar sometimes because he likes Caesars for some reason, which I know is probably not the best. More cat foods. So this is done. I organize as I go. Alright. Oh, and they had the burrito sized tortillas this time. Roy loves the burrito sized tortillas. 
he munches on these like chips. He loves tortillas. So do I. So that's a staple. Trail mix. I get the bulk trail mix. It's trail mix. Oh, and then they have the creamers. They didn't have the eggnog creamers, but my favorite is sugar cookie. Can you see it? The sugar cookie. The sun. Sorry about the sun. Sugar cookie. And this is gingerbread. I love the gingerbread. I love the sugar cookie, too. The eggnog is okay. I'd rather get real eggnog. And they didn't have that much uh, variety of eggnog this time. I just like your normal eggnog. But I also like the low-fat eggnog. You know, they had those fat, real fat ones. And I also like the eggnog with the alcohol already in it. So yummy. More broccoli. Every week I get broccoli, no matter what. And then these are on sale again. Last week I got these. These are little 100-calorie little minis um, guacamole. And, and this was on sale for two bucks. But it's okay because I keep them in the freezer. And then whenever I'm ready for them, I just defrost them. In the freezer you go. And, of course, cottage cheese. It's a staple. I was getting fat-free cottage cheese. Just one of the things I always get. Mix it with everything. Cottage cheese goes with everything. Oh, Roy needed some more mixed berries, but this time I got him something different. I got him strawberries and blueberry mixture. And because this was on sale, because usually we get the three variety of mixed berries: it's raspberries. Uh, boysenberries, yeah, raspberries, boysenberries, and blueberries, yeah, but this is a strawberry, this is like a good mix, they don't usually have this all the time, so, frozen berries to make smoothies and everything, ooh, another bag gone, oh, and I got good dog food, I got had a comment like the last time I got that Perina, I know the cream probably wasn't the best, but it had it was a puppy formula, and I always look for puppy formula. And sometimes it's limited what you can find for puppy. But I'm always trying to find just straight grain-free protein, all natural dog food. And this is um, and this is adult and puppy. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I got this, and it's lamb and brown rice recipe, and it's no wheat, corn, or soy. No artificial colors and no animal byproduct. Now it does have rice in it, but I try to get more like all lean protein. Even though sometimes I splurge and I get them like Caesars, like you know I mix it up. But I try to the base of it. I try to make it really healthy, healthy food. And Roy likes these donuts. I've been craving cake lately, but he likes the powdered sugar donuts. Now, if it was up to me, I'd get the glaze, but he likes powdered sugar donuts, so I got him some of that. I got him some of that. And, of course, every week, I buy him these Doritos. That's a staple. Always get him those Doritos. And another staple is the fried chicken. We don't need any potato salad because we still have leftover potato salad, but... Fried chicken, and uh, this is not the hot one. It was wrapped up cold. One, two, three, four. Uh, still eight pieces. Sometimes you get a little extra pieces if they're wrapped up cold. But, well, that's it. That's ninety eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know why it was still ninety eight dollars, but oh well. But that's my haul. That's my grocery haul. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope everyone's having a groovy day. <laughs> Peace.